Hey guys, it's Cupcake and I'm coming to you with another what I'm eating video. Um, this week I, it probably doesn't look like it, but I'm going to be eating a little bit more whole foods, a little bit healthier. So I figured that I would share. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first I'm going to be making, um, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches for the first time. So I have some French sandwich rolls for my husband and I. Um, I'll probably be able to eat like half of one of these. Um, but yeah, I just found these at Smith's, which is Kroger. 240 calories. I mean, obviously this is not a health food, but, uh, and my husband even suggested, well, we could eat the Philly cheesesteak um, with rice, you know. But uh, I was like, we're gonna be eating probably a lot of rice this week. At least he will be. Um, I don't eat rice often. I might eat a little bit if I make him some uh, to go with whatever I'm making for dinner. Sorry, my counter's kind of a mess right now. Like that's our rice pot. It doesn't go in the dishwasher, so it's drying. Um, the squirt bottle, <laughs> uh, paper towels, super important. Water bottle. This is the kind of water that we buy. Um, a big onion, that's for the Philly cheesesteaks. And then I have three green peppers and I have two sirloin roasts that I'm going to freeze for about 30 minutes at least and then slice really thin and then cook in a pan. Um, I just found some recipes online and so I'm gonna try it and uh, we'll go from there. Um, I have sliced provolone cheese. Um, because one of the recipes I found on Food Network, uh, you just cook the meat, you know, you season it and cook it, and then you put, um, sliced cheese on top to melt. So that's what I'm going to try for this time. I still have to go get mushrooms, though, um, before tonight, because that's what I'm making for dinner tonight. Um, I have some Cash Valley cheese sticks that I actually bought. We bought a big bag of them when I attempted to make pizza pockets. Uh, which turned out edible, but like the dough just wasn't, it didn't cooperate super well. So if I do that again, I'm just going to take the time to make my own dough. Um, but yeah, I have, so we have a lot of these left over. So yeah, they don't have the stats on them, but pretty standard. Um, I, this was on sale for $3. Um, I really like boar's head. I buy boar's head lunch meat for my husband for sandwiches, um, during the week. And, um... Sometimes I eat some of the meat and cheese and I probably I probably will be this week too because I got some extra because I'm not, I don't have like three boxes of protein bars like I have been. That's the big change that I'm really making. Um, so anyway, pepperoni and cheese um, in case you want the stats on, on this pretty good. So I'm excited to try that. Um, bananas because I, the reason why I'm not going to be eating a whole bunch of protein bars because if you've seen my last uh, video or a couple videos, I've been eating a lot of protein bars, like three a day, and it's really messing with my stomach. So yeah, I'm backing off of the protein bars, but um, supposedly bananas are supposed to be good for digestion, so I got some bananas. I also just like bananas. I have three uh, Granny Smith apples here as well. So I'll also be eating those. I did get two of the, two packs of three of these um, because I still thought that these were reasonable, you know, like a reasonable option. Um, so yeah, anyway, they've got peanuts and uh, sunflower seeds and ham jerky. And there's the stats on those. Um, Pop-Tart Bites, we saw these in the store. My husband wanted to try them and actually they're really good. I have had some of these. Um, they kind of taste more like Fig Newtons than, you know, what you might expect a little Pop-Tart Bite to taste like. They're softer. Anyway, so this little pouch is 150 calories. So, in case you see them and wanted to try them, they're obviously also not a health food. Um, this is the last of the protein bars that I have. I haven't tried this one. It's gingerbread flavor cake bites. 
Um, so I'm gonna try these and I will post my thoughts on Instagram along with the other protein bars that I've recently eaten. I've taken photos of them and I will post them all together on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, um, I'll possibly put my Instagram name down below, but I do have a pro private profile, so you'd have to request follow me. So heads up on that. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'll, I'll try these and see how they are. I like, you know, gingerbread flavored stuff. So 210 calories, um, 26 carbs and 20 grams of protein. Um, and then these I've, you know, I've eaten many times and they're good. This is a snack size. Um, so yeah, it just kind of tastes like a candy bar and they're pretty tasty, pretty good stats. But again, I'm, I'm trying to get away from protein bars. I've just been consuming a lot of artificial sugars and it's just not going well with my belly. So I'm going to back off of those for a bit. Um, I decided to get full, like full fat, full sugar yogurt, as you can see, made with whole milk. Um, this isn't that different from the yogurts that I was uh, getting. Um, but yeah, I haven't tried these before and they looked yummy. So 140 calories, not too bad. Um, and 16 carbs. It is what it is. I, I, yeah, I just, I'm, again, I'm trying to get away from the artificial sugars a bit. I can't, I'm not going to completely cut them out of my diet, but I definitely need to cut way back. So full fat yogurt. And I feel like the full fat yogurts, they keep you full or longer. Like they really fill you up. So, and it's, they still have a, a decent amount of protein. So these are the vanilla ones. There's a peach cobbler one that sounded good. And then a cinnamon French toast one. So I'm excited to try those. Um, I got some fiber one bars because yeah, my digestive system hasn't been great and I really like these. So yeah, and 150 calories. So it's not terrible, little snack. Help me with some fiber, so. That's what I'm eating. I have some pickles. Um, I used to love pickles so much and eat them so often, but then they weren't really agreeing with my stomach and I wasn't really in the mood for them. But I had one yesterday and it was delicious, so I'll probably be eating more pickles. I like, I really like pickles and cheese and meat together. It's just tasty. Um, the other thing I'm cutting way back on is energy drinks because I've been drinking a lot of energy drinks. However, I did get two of these and I drank half of one last night. Um, so yeah, because I still, I like caffeine, but the energy drinks, it's just obviously not good for me and I'm sure it's contributing to me not feeling that great. So, so yeah, I just got two of these instead of, you know, the one to two rock stars, the non-carbonated low calorie rock stars that I have been drinking. I'm not going to be drinking those for a bit. So, um, I've showed this before, but this is kind of butter that I buy. I will buy the salted, unless they don't have salted, then I'll buy the unsalted. But I use this for cooking, I use it for baking. Um, today I'm actually going to try a new brownie recipe that I found um, that uses semi-sweet chocolate. I just found it on Food Network, so um, I'm going to try that because every weekend I've been trying a new recipe, um, at least one new recipe. So, you know, um, recently, I think it might've been last weekend, I made pistachio cheesecake and it turned out really delicious. And um, I tried like a new barbecue chicken recipe that's just like done in the oven. So yeah, um, I've, I've gone from like not really cooking at all to cooking a lot. So just to kind of give you an idea, these are some of the things I have in my cupboard, but I've just been collecting different spices and here's my baking stuff. So yeah, anyway. Um, so 
I didn't, like I said, I'm not cutting out fake sugars completely and I still need to get my protein in. And I like this flavor. Um, I have mentioned these before, but uh, they, uh, Walmart only has them in a, like a big pack of 15 now or 12, no, a pack of 12 for $15. So it's pretty good price. They're 30 grams of protein, uh, one gram of sugar, three net carbs, 30 grams of protein, and I really like the vanilla flavor. I like these better than some of the other like name brand uh, vanilla protein shakes. So um, I usually drink half at a time with water. Um, I can also add these to my tea. And so it just adds a little bit of sweetness, you know, instead of creamer. So yeah, I am drinking these, but you know, probably not more than like one a day. So it is what it is. Anyway, because um, I'm not drinking energy drinks and I haven't been doing good with getting enough fluids in, I bought a bunch of tea. So I have this toasted coconut, which I tried yesterday and um, it's okay. Like it's like probably something that I would drink occasionally. So toasted coconut, almond bark, I've got some herbal, caffeine free some of these have caffeine some don't uh caramel tea i've never tried it but i figured i would try it and i love green tea but again i'm not trying to load up on caffeine and like these two black teas have caffeine in them so i got the decaffeinated green tea and we also have uh irish breakfast tea in the cupboard which i really love but it has quite a bit of, of caffeine in it. So I drink a lot of tea, especially at work. But like I said, I need to drink more water, but I'm not a good water drinker. So I like, I like tea. Um, I found this on Amazon. My husband had been saying that he wanted to try pistachio butter. He's kind of got a, you know, like a minor allergy to um, peanuts. And so they give him like migraines when he eats uh, peanuts or peanut butter. So I found this on Amazon. It is a tiny little jar, five ounces, um, but it's delicious. Uh, it was a little expensive for this little jar, but um, it was nice trying it. And what I, I've actually been eating it more than him, um, but I did use some of it in the pistachio cheesecake, um, which he also liked. So, and that was his suggestion was to put some of that in the pistachio cheesecake, but I also used like ground pistachios, like I got pistachios and used our little uh, food processor. We have just like a little one now. Um, anyway, I have been putting like a scoop of this, like a spoonful, not a scoop, a spoonful with like a big spoonful of Nutella in a little container and taking it to work. And it's been just like a yummy snack, obviously not the healthiest, but not the worst option either. So, um, and then I have tried all the new Ben and Jerry's like cookie dough core flavors because I love cookie dough. Um, and this one's okay. Um, I really like the other flavors as well. Um, yeah, so it's just like chocolate chip ice cream with like a cookie dough center. And I ate, you know, I don't know, like a third of it last night. So. It's full fat, full sugar. I I tend to buy the lower calorie Ben and Jerry's, but I really wanted to try the new flavors, so I've just been trying the new flavors. Um, I can usually eat them in two to three servings. So it is what it is. I'm just kind of living my life. And uh, yeah, um, I haven't weighed myself in a little bit, but I imagine I'm around 160 uh, still. Um, so I'll probably weigh myself tomorrow before I eat, um, breakfast and see where I'm at and then see if, uh, changing my eating habits affects my weight. Um, but really I'm just doing this to, to feel better. I feel okay with where I'm at weight wise. Um, you know, of course I'd, I'd like to lose a few pounds, but, uh, mostly I just want to feel good and, um, I definitely feel more like exercising now that it's warming up. So that's a really good thing. 
Um, but yeah, anyway, hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you later.